This video is sponsored by Mark 7 Car Wash Equipment, providing clean, dry, shiny cars for over 50 years. Visit mark7.net for more information. Hello and welcome to Unscripted, the video series that connects you with market leaders. Today on our Unscripted video, we welcome Steve Goudreau, president of Brink Results. Hello, Steve, and thank you for joining us today. My pleasure joining you, Rich. Thank you for inviting me. Sure thing. So today's topic is on the car wash industry's performance during uh, economic uncertainty and the, uh, the potential of loyalty programs, Steve. And, uh, and you know, prior to 2020, uh, I was curious, how did the car wash industry perform during prolonged periods of economic uncertainty, including recessions, and why? You're trying to date me by how far back I go here? Is that on the recessions? Only no. a decade or so. Yeah, just, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, earlier recessions, um, most of which I heard about, uh, the car wash industry was affected uh, to some degree, great degree, especially the full service segment is the most affected by recessions generally. Uh, the recession of 2008, 2009, 2010, uh, the industry, um, again, the full serve segment was affected, self-serve did okay, and Bay Automatics did okay. The exterior washes uh, did the best. Uh, and the exterior expresses specifically of that segment. And so, yeah, they, they, and they actually grew. And also it was during that recession when um, it flipped from people building full service tunnels to building exterior express tunnels. And, that's, uh, and, and that growth was although slower, not as great, as robust as before, but there was growth. None of the manufacturers that produced equipment really had any serious issues, uh, you know, all survived, all did uh, good or better. Uh, so that tells you a lot about that. So as an industry, uh, the car wash industry has been pretty uh, successful uh, through the last recession. Okay, understood. Well, something uh, with a little less experience our industries had to handle is a, is a pandemic, uh, right. less serious uh, pandemic of this magnitude happened over a hundred years ago. So what surprised you most in 2020 as the industry was confronted with a uh, global pandemic? Uh, a, couple, a couple of things. First off, uh, the most amazing thing, and I talk about this with my clients all the time, is, is that um, how the car wash industry was so little affected compared to some other industries. Nobody expected that a discretionary expenditure like a car wash uh, would have you know, uh, survived so well. But as it turns out, cleaning <laughs> all surfaces, cleaning everything around you became something that was even more important. Also, people just, you know, for the sheer uh, enjoyment, usage of the time, being in a clean car made sense. So that was uh, absolutely, uh, you know, surprising to me um, about the, uh, uh, about what happened there. Um, also, I think uh, I was impressed with how the industry really plugged in to the coronavirus safety uh, precautions. Uh, you know, no matter what political stripe, and it got to be kind of politicized if you wore a mask or not, you didn't see that out in the industry. Uh, you saw pretty much uh, uh, most car washes cleaning much more uh, rigorously, posting information about it on their website and their signage, and most importantly, the uh, employees were all wearing masks when they interacted with the customers. So that was impressive. Uh, while some businesses early on were still lagging behind, still fighting, doing any of these safety uh, precautions, uh, car wash industry uh, really stepped up pretty early and should be pretty proud of what they did. Agreed. Yeah, the operators definitely had to uh, think on their toes and, and adapt the business to uh, adjust. Yeah. So it was, uh, I agree, it was good to see. So Steve, uh, from your viewpoint, what role did unlimited wash plans and loyalty clubs play in help stabilizing business for operators last year? And will these programs have the same impact uh, during a prolonged recession, let's say? Okay, uh, first question is easy, second question is tough. Uh, first question is that it had a huge impact 
uh, by the start of the pandemic, almost everybody in the industry had an unlimited wash plan. Uh, so uh, that and people's unlimited wash plans after I would say the initial two months uh, started growing again and grew throughout the rest of the year. So there was net increases being added. And there's absolutely no question that it had a huge impact uh, on, you know, on the industry. And again, people buying monthly plans are not the lowest income folks. It's middle and upper income. And they were not as affected uh, up to this point anyway uh, with, the, um, uh, with the economy as much as lower income people were. So that made that uh, protection great. And, and again, continuing to add members made a big difference. There's some people who added a lot of members that actually saw increases last year in car counts, which that's phenomenal. Um, and uh, that, was, that was the exception of people with very successful plans that had a good growth in, in volume. I would say, if I had to say on average, you had some uh, small decreases, some small increases. And if you averaged everybody together in the exterior express segment with plans, they're probably about the same as they were the year before. Given what happened with this pandemic, that's fantastic results. Agreed. Now, the second question, a little tougher, <laughs> what's going to happen going forward? Um, you know, it is psychologically great. People see that there's at least an end in sight uh, with, with this vaccine, uh, and that's great. Uh, and that will help uh, retention to some degree. But we haven't seen the economic impact. We didn't even really see it to a high degree last year. Um, unemployment was high, but people were getting quite a bit of subsidies, financial subsidies there from the government for a while. So, uh, and in some places that didn't really end until last year. So again, what happens with this new stimulus package all makes a big difference. You know, two trillion dollars, I'll tell you, hey, probably won't hurt as much, you know. Uh, no package at all. Uh, it's probably the recession is going to be uh, hit us. But again, I go back to the last recession and just say Exterior Express and um, the subscriber based business absolutely um, will make it more resistant. So if you're there, if you're a full service, a huge recession, uh, it was tough last year, it'll be even tougher this year, you know, or, or a flex serve. Good to know. Yeah, definitely uh, important to get these uh, these memberships going to uh, to solidify the business for sure. So, what are some of the key elements of building a successful unlimited wash club? Well, here's the other side of the equation. It, uh, this this clubs are nowhere near as successful as they could be. Okay, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, car washes. Change their price, you know, have pretty good pricing starting to get standardized now uh, to um, you're pretty much seeing the same prices overall. Um, the marketing is people change their signs uh, and, um, uh, you know, and the um, put, you know, signs up on their property uh, and put it on their website. And that's about it. They take care of the pricing, a little limited marketing. But there's so much more that could be done. Um, you know, training people. Uh, on how to answer questions, talk about it, putting people out at the pay stations to talk to customers about the club, uh, incentive of programs, uh, setting goals, having management more focused on it, um, and paying in particular attention to, you know, competition, what they're doing, uh, and so forth. So um, got a lot of clients in the 5,000 member per location and up. Uh, I would say in the industry average is probably closer to 1,500 members. Now, every operator I know that's got 1,500 members is thrilled, you know, with that. But it can be so much better than that. I mean, there's there's car wash chains out there with 10,000 members per location. And that's you know that's incredible. So are they going to be okay in the, uh, if we get a recession? You betcha. They can lose a portion of that and still still do pretty well. So. The exciting thing is, it's a big answer to two big issues, you know, the pandemic and, and the economy, uh, unlimited wash clubs are really huge for this industry. Sounds good. And that's great news for, uh, for operators that invest and, and implement these programs. So Steve, regardless of the decade, it's always great to, uh, to <laughs> see you. I know you've been a, uh, a good supporter of our publication and website over the years and, 
we thank you very much for that uh, support. Like I said, always great to see you. And thanks for uh, spending a few moments to discuss this issue with me for uh, carwash.com. Pleasure. G great to see you, Rich. Thanks for having me. Anytime you want to talk about anything, let me know. Thank you.